and of course the drawer will be up here. I mean, uh, cabinet up top, and uh, down below is a drawer for whatever she want to put in it, canned goods, whatever. Hubby is um welcome to another day on the bus with a brand new life, y'all. Today the hubby is building the box for our refrigerator. So he's cut those long boards already. I guess he's making the box for the bottom part here. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm making the building my frame for for the refrigerator to sit on, and then we'll be able to put walls around it and the cabinet above it, drawer below it. So these six, this is going to be one of these. It'll fit up top. Want to fit at the bottom. Want to fit at the bottom. This is the, the floor plate. This one will fit at the top where the drawer is going to be. So, since I'm using two befores in it, and we we're going to raise it 12 inches. We're gonna raise it 12 inches. The drawer is gonna to have to be the drawer down there is gonna to have to be nine nine inches. So the way this will go is is these will be here. This, this will be inside there. And uh, the refrigerator will actually sit on top of this. And uh, it's also going to be, be another one running catacorner like this here to the back stand. And uh, another one running there. So the refrigerator were actually set up in there. It'll actually sit up in there. So, and uh, this top plate, it'll go the height of the refrigerator from the 12 inches, and that'll be a cabinet above the refrigerator. So, that's that's what I'm working on right now. Getting, getting the basis of this laid out. Okay. So he's got that done, y'all. So, until the next clip. Okay, y'all. So, he has the first side built. Insulation going in between there. It'll go inside. Oh, okay. 
So y'all, yeah. I'm just checking. I'm just checking the seat. Let me let y'all get some good footage. Footage. Okay, hold on. So y'all, look at it. I'm just checking to see if it was going to fit inside of there. I want a pretty snug fit, even though I'm going to come back with something that'll, that'll catch the front, that'll catch the front of this here, and keep this, uh, keep this, uh, 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 situated where it won't come out or anything. Okay. So yeah, that's just sitting on the floor. So from the top to the bottom already. Okay. And until the next clip. Right. You want one of those other boards out there? Huh? You want one of those other boards out there to cut? Uh-uh. I'm going to use them some next. The refrigerator is going to sit on this and another one on the back and then it'll be another one here and then uh, I come back with some studs off through here so that I can put my wood and stuff there that's going on that side because on this side 
uh, I'm putting uh, the pantry. It'll it'll fit on this side. It'll fit here. So it'll be right there. So and this fits perfect. Nice tight fit. So I tie in up there and shoot across and tie in over there. You wouldn't even look at I said I'm gonna tie in here, then shoot across and tie in. Uh, now show them where you're gonna tie in because I want to get this. I'm gonna tie in to the step to the uh, joist up there. I I shoot that straight to the joist and then uh wherever this comes out over here, I'll add another piece and tie in to this joist so that everything will be sturdy and stabilized up there. So and that um, I'll uh, once I get this situated I'll I'll uh, screw into the floor and everything so this here will be, be all the way stabilized. And of course the drawer will be up here. I mean uh, cabinet up top and uh, down below is a drawer for whatever she want to put in it. Canned goods, whatever. So. That'll be, that's it, that's all. I just got to put a stud here, another stud here. And then, uh, it'll be, of course, like I said, it'll be stud across here, 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 and on the floor. Another floor plate in between there. Same distance as the studs that'll be here. So it's going to be stable. And uh, right here on the front of this, uh, you see this gap that we have in the fridge here? See this gap? See it's a gap right between here. So what I'm going to do is just uh, for safety, just for safety purposes, and to secure the fridge in there, I may come with a. a say a quarter inch piece of of uh, metal and uh, put it here on the front frame of this with the, I, I put it up there with the doors open and it'll just go in say a quarter of an inch about a quarter of an inch and be a quarter of an inch thick and I'll uh, screw that to the wood but let it brace the refrigerator so we won't have to worry about it falling forward even though with this it wouldn't fall forward because this is going to hold it and the one back here will hold it but I just want to because we're on a bus and it's going to vibrate so I just want to put that for extra safety purposes she'll have to get a she has a little stool step stool she'll have to step up on that to get in this game he will too <laughs> But yeah. the, refriger the refrigerator will be at a perfect height because uh, that's uh, 19 and 3 quarters. So 19 and 3 quarters right here. So this is the fridge. I mean the freezer. It'll mm -hmm. open up here. Mm -hmm. And then this is the ice box right here. Perfect. Per perfect. Yeah, you won't have to, you know, consider how short <laughs> Hey, y'all. So, as you can see, our refrigerator casing is built. It's built ready for its owner. <laughs> right there. Right here. Say, so, guys, uh, come get this. See down here, you have a compressor, you have a compressor, you have capillary tubes, you have a, a, a condenser, and the way AC works is, is that under high pressure, Freon gas flows through uh, a bigger pipe 
into a smaller pipe, which creates friction, which creates heat, and then it's hypercooled when it goes back into a bigger pipe, the condensing unit, and it cools it, and that's what cools your refrigerator. So what I'm saying is, is that this creates a great deal of heat. So by creating a great deal of heat, you have to vent this area so that the heat can dissipate. So uh, as soon as I get this area, you can go back over here now. Go back over here now. Okay, uh, as soon as I get this area here right, I'll know exactly where this will be sitting. And where it'll be sitting, I have a vent that I that I purchased that I'm gonna cut through the uh, the out the metal of the bus and place my vent there so that my refrigerator will be able to dissipate heat. And uh, and also since uh, since I'm gonna do it like that, I'll also just just to please the wifey. <laughs> I'm going to put some insulation in these areas here to hold this heat in and let it all dissipate to the outside of the bus instead of escaping into the living room. Which it wouldn't be that much heat with the vent, but just satisfy her I'm going to do that. So, with that said, I'm going back to work. So, what he said. <laughs> So yeah, yes, um, we're getting closer and closer to the living area. Um, oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. where it's going to fall. The a little more information. Um, I'm doing, I'm doing these things before, uh, putting down my flooring uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because once we build this thing this is the way it's going to be we're not going to modify it or nothing we may change some hanging on the wall or something but it's going to stay like this and uh, so it's no need to, to put flooring where it'll never be seen nor used so uh, what I'm going to do is the same way you would do tile with a uh, uh, with fixed uh, assets in there. I'm running up to it with a little bit of room for expansion and uh, coming back with a port around to seal off the slight gap that I'm going to leave for expansion and vibrations and everything. So uh, that's the reason the floor is not is not done yet. So once I get all my my fixed assets in place my, and built then I come back, and one of the final things I come back and do is start putting my tile and my floor in. There. So that's all I want to say. All right, y'all. So we thank y'all so much. We thank y'all so much for all our new family members over here. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. Go ahead. You don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss this. We would love to, to take y'all on our journey with us as we build to take an adventure in our new home on wheels. Our new tiny home on wheels. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and touch that notification bell, y'all. So y'all can be notified every time we upload. We usually try to upload on Saturday. Sometimes we upload more days during the week. But um, Saturday is the biggest day that we upload on. All right, hubby, any finals? He's going back to work. He's going back to work. Um, I'll show y'all some pics at the end. Wait for it. Wait for it. Until the next video. Bye.